Okay, so you put on a ribbon fish or kingfish and take that ribbon fish, you get through the bottom lip, through the top lip like that, and you want to kind of line the hooks up so you can tell where you want to put them in. You want that ribbon fish to swim freely through the water, swim smoothly and not make a bunch of loops and spins while it's being trolled behind the boat. So put one through like that and I kind of check it. See, that one looks like it's going to go right through there. So we'll hook it in just like that. Here's a little closer look at a kingfish leader and a ribbon fish. And kingfish leaders, you can buy those pretty much anywhere along the Texas coast that sell saltwater fishing tackle. And you can see it has three hooks on here and you'll see why it's important to use wire leader in a minute but anyway this first hook that would go through the mouth and you put the hook in underneath and so here's that ribbon fish with all three hooks in and you can see that wire leader is nice and straight through there the fish is laying nice and flat if the fish is laying or hanging like an S shape or any kind of curved pattern then it's going to spin through the water and that's not going to be as attractive to the fish usually as when it just moves smoothly through the water which mimics the natural movement of a ribbon fish now you don't have to have a big deep sea reel like the pen number 49 that I use in the video with an ugly stick tiger rod and 30 to 40 pound test you could use something like this ambassador 5500 C with 20 pound test on it you can catch a lot of kings with a rod like this and even just a small Johnson Sprite spoon like that and a short wire leader if you can get 100 to 150 yards of line on there you should be okay for most kingfish that you would encounter but of course a bigger rod with more capacity of line is going to allow you to bring in a greater variety of fish sizes Flip it over the side and I'll start getting the boat moving Start letting line out. We hear that clicker going on the drag. That lets us know that we're letting line out. We'll be able to tell if we get a bite too. We'll probably put out about a hundred foot of line or so behind the boat. 100, 150. Okay, that should be good. That's just sargassum. I don't think that's a fish. Yeah, I better go ahead and bring it in. Oh no, I had a bite. Missed him. Missed him. Okay, I think I found some kingfish over here. Just picked one up. See if we can get another one here real quick. It's been a little bit of a slow morning. It's about 9.30 now. It's out here since sunrise. Well, I've missed a couple of kings and a pretty nice sized ling too. I just picked up about a nine, nine pound king, eight, eight, nine pounds, and had two or three following it. So I think there's gonna be some fish here that are eager to bite happens. There's a fish. Got a pretty nice one here. Real nice fish. back on and move away from the rig a little bit. This 
one's a little bigger than the one I just caught. Usually they make one big run and they start coming in. And then they'll make another one when they see the boat. So I gotta get ready for that one. Oh, there he goes. right there, pretty nice. Look at that tail, they're designed for swimming long distances, designed for endurance. So that tail right there, it's real streamlined. And they have some little finlets right there, on the sides and then up along the top there. It really lets that water flow smoothly over them. Here's a closer look at that kingfish and you can see those teeth there, rows of really razor sharp teeth that's why you need a wire leader when you're fishing for kingfish and then notice that big eye and they feed in murky waters they feed at night and so that's an indication you know that they will feed early in the morning late in the evening those are good times to catch them you can catch them all day long but usually as the sun comes up they'll be in a little bit deeper water and you may have to fish a little bit deeper some people use downrigger some people drift fish with a weight and get that ribbon fish down to 30 40 foot deep and then looking at the anterior side of the fish you can see these little finlets here that allow that water to move smoothly across the body and then maximize propulsion with that forked tail and they also have like a keel my fingers are covering it but right there on both sides there's a little keel that sticks out that helps them swim straight just like a feather on an arrow and then you can see that lateral line following an interesting pattern there along the body. That lateral line can sense changes in water pressure just like our ear can sense changes in air pressure. Kingfish are beautifully designed to do what they do best, swim long distances and catch lots of fish. If you ever release one, you have to release it immediately or they will die really fast. You have to just drop them like a torpedo straight back down in the water, get the hooks out and drop them in. I'm going to keep this one, cook it and eat it. <laughs> 